I'm not a relationship coach. I'm a certified life coach. Like to hear it? Here it go. I'm always watching all of the time. So I post all of these TikToks that are, you know, just, just my favorite. And a lot of them have to do with relationship advice and positivity and things of that nature. I can see on a t- on TikTok that there are a lot of relationship people on there giving relationship advice. A lot of people give relationship advice, dating advice, sex advice. I see it everywhere, not just on um, TikTok or YouTube, but also on Instagram. So I see people giving relationship advice all of the time. And I've been giving relationship advice for the most part, I don't know, I think maybe... I've been a counselor for a really long time, but I started giving relationship advice maybe 12 years ago. What? A counselor with no, um, I don't know what you call it, certification because it ain't a degree. I started to use YouTube as a place where I was giving relationship advice. And it was predominantly YouTube instead of an office where you can get paid that bitch? Huh? You just giving away free advice? For me. Okay, and then my son's father came and it kind of like scrambled everything. You know, oh, something was Lord. just thrown into the situation. Blame him for everything. Guys, you see how this bitch do? Blame her baby daddy for everything. And everything was just scrambled after that. Oh, Lord. So now, because my audience is different like I, I don't have predominant male audience I have females as well so it's like a 50 50 thing and it's kind of hard to give 50 50 advice to people because when I'm talking about men women get mad I mean men get mad when I'm talking about women women get mad you know what I mean and who gives a fuck what do you I mean what difference does that make get mad about what if your advice is so fucking thorough bitch it's just thorough, and whoever don't like it can kick rocks. It, it just it led me to the to the conclusion that a lot of people just don't like to self evaluate. A lot of people don't like to look at their own behavior and measure whether that behavior is even conducive to them becoming more successful or growing. Or a lot of people don't want to take the blame for their relationships you know, the demise of their relationships or their divorces or whatever case. A lot of people don't want to be like, okay, it was my poor choice and this is why I ended up in this situation. So a lot of times, you know, people just are emotional. And we're talking about relationships, so I don't expect people to not be emotional. We kind of, you know, that's kind of the situation. And so anyway, as I'm posting all of my TikToks just for entertainment purposes because I like posting the TikToks that peak interest in me you know what I mean like I see it I'm like okay let me take it put it on my YouTube channel of course I'm not gonna make like a shit ton of bucks on it because it's only like 20 seconds <laughs> but you know I'm just gonna put it on my my um YouTube as a YouTube short all right shit all of the time I'm pretty sure I'm not the only content creator on the planet who has complained about trolling. I think trolling is one of the biggest complaints that anyone who is a content creator has. If I was a YouTube creator, I don't think I would really give a shit about trolls. And furthermore, if I was... If I was... Um, confident in what I thought and preached about... I would make sure that people have the option to address me like Kevin Samuels does. And then, you know, you may not feel that sometimes I'm like, damn, Kevin, get a person a chance to talk. I want to hear the debate. But he gets them in and out right away, which is his way. Okay. But if I was 10 toes down on what I believed in, you know, I will be, um, because I like to debate. Um, and my sister used to say, I thought you, you know, I thought you would be a lawyer because I ask questions and I want to know why do you feel this way about, you know, this or that. 
and and why and why but this bitch here she's afraid she's afraid okay and you know i'm not i'm not gonna say act like i'm always you know up for confrontation and whatnot um the older i get i am a little more you know um because I do have somewhat of a background in supervision. Um, I do, I have supervised CNAs and whatnot, being a nurse. So I've had to develop my communication skills and, you know, try to address situations and disagreements and things of that nature so I can, you know, that kind of helped me to handle myself um, just all across the board. So, but, um, yeah, she's, she's afraid of confrontation as much as she try to pretend. Because at the end of the day, you know, if somebody trying to over talk you, I like the way that certain creators because i don't want to keep mentioning this man's name i like the way certain creators you know have to you know they check you say listen you're not gonna over talk me you because we could talk a conversation is i talk you listen you listen i talk if you knew how to conduct yourself in an open forum then you probably wouldn't have all these fucking problems, bitch. But you lie so much that people catch you in your lies and then you try to run and hide like the rat that you are. Okay, it's just something that all of us have to deal with and I've had to deal with the extremities of it. Okay? So she had to deal with the extremities of, of trolls. Let's look at the definition of extremities. Because I could have swore that meant your body limbs. What is the definition of extremity? Here's the definition of extremity. The furthest point or limit of something. The extreme degree or nature of something. Extremity. Okay, well, she still don't know how to use the word, so fuck her. <laughs> so, of course, YouTube is one of the platforms where it's a lot of red pill and mixed towel men on here. It's a lot of socially awkward men. It's a lot of hurt men on here. Okay, and the problem with that is that a lot of those men are so confused and so hurt, they can't even get out of their own way to get some decent advice on how to improve themselves as men so they can have better relationships with women. Right? And too many arguments about who should give advice and who shouldn't give advice. Bitch, it ain't no argument. You give the advice and if somebody want to listen, they fucking listen, bitch. It's, it's a such thing as changing the channel. Who gives a butt? A, a damn. It could be a million people on here giving advice. It don't make one person right over the other. It's kind of muddy in the water. It's making the, the water murky. Because regardless to whether a man is giving you advice or a woman is giving you advice, usually when the advice is right, it's just right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, someone could just... And, you know, let me say this again. Because I think I said it before. I'd rather listen to a person who has been married twice and divorced than a bitch who ain't never, ever had a successful relationship. <laughs> okay? Be very clear. Give you some good advice and still be screwed up. You know what I mean? Like, you can get some good advice from, from a homeless person who's sitting on the side of the street. You should know. That's telling you, hey, don't do what I do. Don't, you know, you... You should know about being homeless because somebody caught your ass talking about you had to go in your room when you were sitting in your fucking car, bitch. Don't nobody sit in the car. If I'm sitting in the car and I'm talking on the phone... Like, yeah, girl, um, yada, 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 and I'm sitting in the car in my driveway. All right, girl, I got to go in my room. Who in the hell? I have never in my 42 years 
said no shit like that. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm sitting in the driveway. I'm just sitting outside the house, girl. I got to go in my room. But she wasn't on the phone. She was talking to the people. So if I'm talking in a YouTube uh, video and I'm sitting in the driveway in my car <laughs> and I'm like, okay, guys, have a good night. I'm going to go to my room now. But I just told y'all I was sitting in my car in my driveway. So why wouldn't I just say I'm going in my house? What the hell difference do it make if I'm going in my room or not? I'm going in my house. You don't need to know I'm going in my room. Fuck out of here. She got cold busted and she 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 got heated. Drugs, don't you? And I think this might be the video, y'all. Alcohol, and you can listen to them because they in a situation that they could have easily prevented themselves from being in. You understand? So it doesn't matter, you know, a person's history or what a person is experiencing at the moment, experiencing at the moment, whether they can tell you good advice or not. Because I think even with, like, I'm from Washington, D.C., so even with the people that I met when I was young, the people that gave me advice when I was young, the one person everybody would get advice from, from would be that one person who was, like, single. <laughs> Didn't have any kids or <laughs> she a fucking wise bitch. Traveled a lot and everybody just thought this person was just this wise person that everybody could, you know, sit there and talk to. And didn't necessarily didn't matter whether they was married or divorced or what. It just what they were saying was so intriguing and actually positive and actually worked. People just listened to it. You know, it didn't matter what this person was doing. Like what, for example, Miss Vague with their own life outside of the advice that they were given. So that's how I am when I take advice from other people. Instead of me trying to figure out what this person is doing with their personal life, I try to look at what the... You, 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 you hypocritical, hippopotamus ass bitch. If that's the case, you wouldn't be concerned about that man's two divorces and anything else he had going on. I wanted to, I missed something. Trying to hear something is saying, and could it possibly be something that I could apply to my life? Right now, the reason why I named this live stream, I am not a relationship coach, I am a certified life coach. I went ahead and got my certification. There are still other certifications that I need. Okay, wait a minute, y'all. I'm trying to find something. I'm sorry because I she said something and I wanted to backtrack. Okay, and the problem with that is that a lot of those men are so confused and so hurt they can't even get out of their own way to get some decent advice on how to improve. The reason why I named this live stream, uh, I am not a relationship lost. coach. I am a certified life coach. I went ahead and got my certification. There are still other certifications that I need. Okay, because I... So after 10 plus years... You finally just get your certification, you lying ass donkey song. I'm legitimizing what I do for a living. All right? Meaning I'm... You illegitimate. Getting all of the licensings and all of the things that I need in order to do this seriously for the rest of my life. Because when I was first given advice on YouTube, it was just a hobby. Now it's become one of those things where people are consistently asking me for advice left and Girl, ain't nobody asking you for no damn right advice. So this is what compelled me to go get my certification as a life coach. I am not a relationship expert. I am a life coach, meaning I Clearly. can tell you stuff on how to organize your life. Oh, okay? my Lord. I can give you tips. I can talk about things that I have researched, the psychology, the sociology of people, all of those things are things that I can discuss. Well, give us some tips, bitch, because in the majority of your videos, you're very vague. You don't go into specific details about anything. If I'm talking to somebody that's seriously looking for some advice, usually when I'm doing one-on-one, -on -one, I'm a little bit more professional, regardless of where... A little bit more professional? Well, bitch, you should always be professional. I'm doing the one-on-one. -on -one at Like, sometimes people will catch me on Instagram. And I'll sit there and I'll do a one-on-one -on -one and I can basically uh, iron out whatever situation they're in. Or even with my OnlyFans, I say go to my OnlyFans. If you're a man, you can go over there and I'll give you one-on-one -on -one advice over there. Now, I will say her delusions have led her 
to be this so-called life relationship coach way before what's his face even came along but it was it's just in her mind you're not interested in the digital <laughs> products that are still over there but either way i just am pretty good deep in advice to me right that's what i do so she get pretty decent advice, but ain't got one damn, um, not reaction video, but a, uh, 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 Sansa Ray Say My Marriage video, bitch. Just before this live stream, I posted another video, which was a TikTok that I saw, but I had to crop it out because some of the other stuff that was on the TikTok clip was, was, it was just something that I couldn't put in the video. And I entitled the video, Me Warning Women. Basically warning women about men. Like I said a minute ago, when I warn women about men, men come into my comment section next. When I warn men about women, men in there clapping, and women are getting mad. So it's just like, at some point, y'all have to start listening to all of my content and how I'm balanced with everybody. Like, I try to be unbiased, and I try to be fair with everybody, okay? Oh, Unless Lord. you come in with some ignorance. There's some men out there that think I call all betas, all men betas. No, I call betas, alpha men, and betas are two different things. I call alpha men, good men, that's an alpha. A bad man is a beta, okay? So when, when I'm trying to interact with people just to have a good time and just to laugh, someone comes in to say something ugly every single time, and it's only on this platform. I promise you. And so then he says, I'm pretending to be wealthy. Let me tell you something. When I sit down, you are videos like in my car. Like I'm, I'm in my car right now. The fact that I even had something to drive or even sit in to do a video in, somebody has to pay for the car. Bitch, that don't mean you wealthy. You could be homeless sleeping in your fucking car, bitch. A note for the note to be here. Somebody has to pay for all of the makeup that y'all complain about. Show us the car, bitch. Show us the, make, the Maybelline makeup. I wear the expensive ass makeup. Yeah, right. Somebody has to pay for these expensive ass wigs. Girl, Somebody has to pay them for them. Shit ain't nowhere near the mannequin, the paddock. Oh, please. So, who do y'all think is paying for that? If I'm single and I'm not dating anybody, who do you think is paying for it? That don't make you rich, bitch. I mean, you got your stimmy. I think money just falling from the sky. This is why I can call men like this beta. You can't pretend that you're wealthy. Either you're wealthy or you're not. So you can't pretend. At... You know how many people get on this fucking internet and, 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 and floss and stunt? Like they got some shit, bitch. Get the you fuck out of here. Lives. You start to see. Oh, this is we ain't see. How come, well, Miss? I don't do all that extra. Why? When the last time you been on the shopping spree at um Bergdorf's or Rodeo Drive? Take us on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, bitch. Cause I ain't never been to Cali. Person doing this, but they must be spending money on something. Where are they getting the money from? Okay, so I don't have to pretend that I want it. I'm not trying to get anybody to like me or nothing like that. Because if that was the case, I would be doing and saying what y'all want me to say. But if you notice, I don't do that. I do what I want to do. Even when people don't like me. So if I was sitting here trying to pretend to be something to get some type of adoration, then I could see somebody saying, oh, you're pretending to be such and such. I don't have to pretend because y'all hate me. Don't forget you're rich because you're number one on OnlyFans, right? right? Most people hate me, right? You know why? Because I do what I want to do instead of being what everybody else expects me Bitch, to be. Bitch, I do what I want to do too. And I lead by example because it's very important and that I'm people out there and independently do whatever it is they want to do that helps them feel better about them and not be so concerned about a whole bunch of strangers that don't know them personally. Um, hello? Then, you concerned about strangers that don't know you? Bitch, I ain't concerned about you. This is jokes and giggles for me, bitch. I can do that is if I lead by example. Okay. Another thing. I'm not a relationship coach. That was his next thing. He said, you're a relationship coach, but don't value marriage. That's exactly why I'm not a relationship coach. Oh, God. Now, if you want to get technical, there is a difference between a relationship coach 
and a marriage counselor. I could teach people how to be in a relationship all day. I'm very much comfortable with people being in a relationship. I'm not comfortable with people getting married, but it's not my decision. You were until um you thought until you realized priest wasn't gonna marry your dumb ass. On and in the other live, you didn't say I have to get home. You said I have to get back to my room. You know why? There it go. There it go, y'all. Yeah. I don't have to get home. Beta male Tony Winton. You know why I didn't say that? Because I was parked out front of my home. See, if I was far away, let's say I was at the movie, right? And I was sitting in the parking lot there. She lying. But then when you start doing counseling and you start talking to them about the nitty gritty of their situation, then the truth about marriage comes out. People who are married try to make it seem like marriage is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, excuse me, bitch. Nobody said that. Um, the people I know say it's fucking hard work. And shows that I watch say it's hard work. I don't know who you listening to or who you talking to. Because you don't even know married people, you dumb bitch. When they know damn well that shit kind of problems that they have inside of their marriage. Because they probably ended up marrying the wrong person to begin with. And furthermore, we... As single people assume that people are living their best lives in their marriages because they're posting on Facebook, this, that, and the other. We assume that. And I can honestly say that for myself. You know, when, um, I don't know, somebody broke up. Can't remember who it was. And I was just in shock, like, oh my God. Because you think you know, but you have no fucking clue. So don't nobody sit up here and act like marriage is this fairy tale. I mean, realistically, we have been taught that way. But as you older you get, you understand that that's not what it is. For the wrong reasons. People get married for the wrong reasons. That's why I don't push it. Well, when you claim or pretended like you was wanting to get married, bitch, what was your reason? What was your reason to want to get married, bitch? Why I don't push it. It isn't because nobody wants to be... And you saying you don't push it like somebody fucking listen to you. Give me one goddamn on video where somebody saying, Sansa Ray saved my life. Or I listen to advice from Sansa Ray. That's me. That's not it. Everybody's always trying to do something with me. Always trying to do something. I keep trying to tell y'all. Be, being engaged and being married is not the hard part for me. That's the easy part. I could be married to just any random dude who's asked me to marry oh, him. God. Plenty of men have done that. Oh, yeah. We know, Sansa Ray. You've been engaged eight times. The issue with me is I want to be married to the right person. I don't want to get married. Then get so out of eight people, not none of them was the right man, but you held a, a relationship long enough to get engaged. You turned down every one of them. You were celibate within those eight uh, engagements, celibate, uh, several abortions, um, a minister, a uh, 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 this and a that. Divorce. Then get married. Then get divorced. Then get married again, then get divorced. I'm not doing that. I see too many people do that. I'm not doing that. Let me tell you something, bitch. Relationship is a risk. So, while you sitting up here saying what you won't do, you don't know what the hell can happen. You could be married to somebody and, you know, they flip the script or you grow apart or whatever. The excuse that people use nowadays. Just to get out of a marriage. People change. I mean, he could he could start cheating or whatever. Who are you to say, well, I ain't gonna get divorced this many times and da-da-da-da-da? Hell. If it don't work out, shit. Some people don't let that deter them from getting married again. You know, especially if it's, you know, about religion or their religious beliefs. And some people get married for the sake of getting married like Elizabeth Taylor. Because she believed in the fairy tale. Or whatever. That's her choice. That's her decision. Her prerogative. 
But at the end of the day, bitch, relationships in general, marriage, whatever, it's a risk that you take. I'm not doing it. I got spiritually married to, the, to a dude one time. Oh, Lord. I promise God. Spiritually married. God, that I was going to give my life to this man. And you get blocked from one profile, it doesn't mean log into another one and then come into my live stream. So I hope that's not you. Don't tell people what to do, bitch. <laughs> I was doing like before if it was a hobby that's what it was it was a hobby it was just something that I was doing now it's something that I'm actually doing professionally oh, and the Lord. reason why I decided to get my certification it was so it could separate me from all of the other people who are out here giving you like you're the only one that's getting certification what the hell Certif girl you certified all right certified advice because in order to get your certification, you got to get the knowledge first, and you have to get the hours, the credited hours to do so. You know what, bitch? I'm about to see what the hell qualifications you need to become a life coach. What qualifications do you need to become a life coach? According to Active Campaign, you don't need any specific degree or education to become a life coach. But a background in psychology, education, wellness, or even business and or a coaching certification from an accredited training program can give you credibility and make you more marketable as a coach. Okay, so it don't take much. I mean, so shit. She might as well get it. If they become a life coach in six months. Um, let's see. Here's some reviews. Hold on, guys. Get some others, but I'm working towards doing this professionally because it's what I enjoy, and I'm not just some person that just gives people advice over the internet. Girl, you um, are just. Okay. Um, depending upon who's gonna pay you to sit and listen. Do you tell people how to get their life together? Would you look at how you look and you ain't got no girl, you ain't got no office, no, no, no um, degrees. Where are your degrees at, sounds right? Remember you said you had some kind of degrees? The specific type of certification that you get is legitimized. Life coaching is something that everybody can do. There are different types of companies out there that will exactly. give you accreditation, okay? But a lot of those companies, you know, like you can get on, like you can go online right now and get your life coach certification. And like after you've studied a couple of modules inside of an e-course and get your uh, accreditation right quick. But for you to be like global. So right. why haven't you been done that shit, bitch? It's almost like a, a Cause you a lying ass. You know how people pass out degrees like I'm over here. Hair had hooligan. <laughs> and their college isn't accredited. So even if you got a degree from this specific college or university, it wouldn't necessarily be legitimized. Okay. What does that eat? What the fuck? Is Tony Winton, beta male simp. Listen to me. I don't know who the fuck you are, and I don't care. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with. I don't know, some other troll shit that you saw somewhere. A lot of you trolls like to come up out of nowhere with some bullshit. Okay, but let me tell you something. All right? I don't know what you're doing with your personal time. So I can't sit up here and try to, you know, I don't know, uh, insult you personally. Because I don't know nothing about what you're doing offline. But from what I'm experiencing with you online, the beta male shit that you're doing, I guess you feel like you need to attack me so you can feel better about yourself. I don't know what it is. That's the only thing that I can assume. But we don't know each other personally. We've never had an interaction. But the comment that you Okay, let's be clear. Tony said, how is she going to give advice to men when she says she don't value them? That was a legitimate question, whether you liked it or not.
And then ANOVA said life coach certification is a scam, not accredited. That's on one of my videos just recently. You spoke as if we know each other and we don't. And that's the problem with a lot of you fucking trolls. You don't know me. What you think Ain't gotta you know do, you, bitch. that's the problem. All right? Yes, I value the men on OnlyFans. I always <laughs> thank them for coming on to my OnlyFans all of the time. I respect them. See, that's what happens when you alpha and you come over there dealing with me accountability for what you post and what you ask and what you say. It's hard to, to respect you. Girl, everybody needs your respect. How, how, would you, how could you think somebody wants to inter, intellectually interact with you when you don't even take what you say in serious? How can I take you serious when you come in with fake profiles? Like, take responsibility for what you say and what you post. Sometimes I feel like when people ask me about Kevin Samuels, even when I'm not talking about Kevin Samuels, like nothing in this, nothing in this live stream was about Kevin Samuels. Yet here comes someone asking me about him, and then when I say to you guys that, and yet still you don't know that man either, and you got on here and you um question his sexuality, you 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 picked apart his message as if. Um, you know, talked about his private life and so on and so forth. Talking about he gonna be exposed and um, you know, uh, commenting on the rumors and shit. So you partook in the bullshit, you fat fuck. I'm not a sexual dude at all, but you keep asking me about him. You keep so why is every other post about something to do with something he says? Or something to do with him, bitch. Ask me about him. I am not going on to Kevin Samuel's show because I see no value in it. If I felt like it would be beneficial towards me, then I would do it. So, bitch, that means that you, um, so if you such that bitch, why you can't address, why you can't, um, it's like boxing. You can't go up against a man. He not on your level, huh? He 51 years old. He been in the game too, bitch. Just because you don't like how what he's saying, how he say it. You not his fucking equal, bitch. That's why you can't go up against him. And I ain't even trying to cake for this man. But you cannot, you cannot um, stand in the ring with Kevin Samuels, bitch. And that is very clear. Why you want to talk about who's so intellectual with your Bath and Body Works wearing ass, bitch? Oh, don't own not one damn Louis Vuitton or a, a Chanel bag, bitch. Where your Chanel bag? That don't cost that much. Where your Mark, um, Michael Kors bags? But I, I feel like it's a waste of my energy and my time. I wouldn't make any of money off it of is. it. Oh, so now you only doing shit that make you money, huh? But you sat up there and did African diaspora and O'Shea uh, Forehead Jackson, Duke Jackson ass shows. You didn't make no money off of them, bitch. All I would get would be a whole bunch more trolls coming over here being annoying like, yep. You sure would, bitch. And you, you would get way more people coming over that's that's the only way you can get your damn likes up and your damn comment section up when you have it on that's the only way your motherfucking ass can get traffic bitch so why would i do something like that it isn't about fear it's about me understanding what oh I'm you worried. scared as hell Fuck and me here. understanding how could this you know what's so funny is that he has um whatever he calls his Friday's open mic or whatever you want to call it so that you can confront him. And a lot of y'all bitches on here talk mad shit. But you can't be bothered to call because he gonna want to put your ass on camera and he gonna blast your fucking ass. And I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, um... Why you talking about you not worried about your weight, but bitch, you was just talking last year about you was going to be off camera for five or six months so you can lose some damn weight and you ain't lost a damn pound, you fat hippopotamus. What, what, how could this be beneficial to me professionally? 
or even financially. And usually when I interact with people, if I'm doing an interview, I chop. Oh, bitch. All that money that man over there making? <laughs> you know you scared. I don't do free interviews or I don't do free collaborations. Who the hell gonna pay you for an interview? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tony. Mind you, this is the same bitch that was stalking Derek Jackson for six months fantasizing about the man didn't even know he had a woman <laughs> beta i'm not one of these weak bitches that's coming to kevin samuels asking for relationship advice i don't oh so so somebody gotta be a weak bitch to come and ask him for the relationship y'all bitches kill me talking about the girls that the women that call him are some weak bitches and 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 skip, you know this that, and the other Talking about um, devaluing those women, you know, commenting on them about them being, um, you know, not knowing their worth or this, that, and the other. You got a lot of damn nerve. But somebody's supposed to sit and listen to your trifling ass with your son that can't even fucking talk, bitch. Put him on camera, bitch. Let's hear him talk. How you relationships? And marriage the way that these bitches do that call into his show. It's not that. Oh, they bitches. You don't know them. How is they bitches, Sasha They could be the nicest people that you could ever come across. But they bitches because they call in his show? You fat, funky. Oh. Serious to me. I'm not pressed. I don't think men are a prize. The women... You should be pressed. Because you damn sure ain't no prize. The fuck? To Kevin Samuel's show think that men are a prize. So of course they leave that motherfucker crying. But see, that's not me. I would have to have more value. Like men are expendable to me. Until they Oh wow, men are expendable. Look at that shit. Oh, so your son expendable bitch? You raggedy at let me stop. Show me that they can invest up. in me. Invest in you? Bitch, you ain't you ain't got nothing to invest. Who's supposed to be worried about investing in your ass? You got a three-year-old fucking child. Don't nobody want to be bothered with that shit in their 40s? Fuck out of here. Or that dealing with them can be beneficial in some manner. Then, with time, they earn my respect. Oh, Lord. But see, I can only give y'all common courtesy respect just off of you're a human being. But I'm never going to be so pressed to get you to where I feel like I got to alter my behavior and my attitude and my X, Y, Z just to get you. Women who call in the Kevin Samuel show feel this. I don't. How does she know what they feel? I just feel like if a man doesn't like me for who I am, even with me trying to be the best version of myself I can be for him, then that just means he isn't the right one for me and I'm okay with this. Again, you... You, you mad cow disease. It doesn't have anything to do with how you feel about yourself. You can feel any fucking way you want, bitch. But you will never get a high-earning man the way that you look. You're fat. You're fat and you're five foot two. Okay? Where is he going to take you? He can't take you to the uh, company uh, party and show you off. The fuck? And that old crazy wig on top of your head and them eyes looking at you like they on the damn portrait. Going back and forth staring at you. Girl, you look a hot damn mess. You understand? All I can do is improve who I am as a woman every day, make sure my spirit is intact, make sure I'm getting my education, make sure I'm, I'm doing what I need to do professionally. Why you want to prove, improve yourself? Shouldn't you already be, you You said you, you're not trying to impress nobody. You are who you are. So what you trying to improve, bitch? What you got to improve? Let's, let's be clear. What are you improving? Because you seem to think you got your shit all the way together, bitch. You rich. You're beautiful, according to you. You're intellectual. 
even though you don't know half the shit that's going on in the world. Um, I know a whole lot, bitch. I just can't necessarily articulate what I know, unfortunately. But I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube um, in regards to human trafficking, sex trafficking, Africa, um, the Middle East. Um, just shit all over, that goes on all over the world, the Philippines, Vietnam, all over the world, you know, um, uh, what was the one video I watched where, uh, shit, what was I watching one day, um, for example, how it is to be, a uh, 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 trend, just random shit, don't, I mean, you know, I, I watch a lot of just random stuff. How it is to be a transgender over in Africa. Um, this one um, transgender woman they followed over in Africa. Or um, how it is to um, child brides and shit like that that's still going on. Um, real sex slaves. Um... You know, different shit like that. I've watched a lot and learned a lot on YouTube. Shit that I didn't even know in school. Or learn in school, rather. Partly because I wasn't interested at the time. But I'm very interested in history now that I'm old. But, um... You know, uh, what's that, uh, what's that African man? Doc, um... Whatever the fuck his name is. That dictator that was in, um, forget what part of Africa, Doc something. I watched that video not too long ago. He was a dictator back in the 60s in a certain, in a certain part of Africa where he believed in voodoo and all this shit. I watched, um, Mussolini, um, of course Hitler. But I got into a little more depth in depth about Hitler. I, I watched videos about um, the United States and the conspiracy um, theories about how the war, how wars get started and shit. They start wars, obviously people know this, but like I've seen actual videos about, you know, how the war is starting, um, how they start the wars for money and. You know, how all that originated and shit. I watched Rockefeller, Rockefeller Feller videos. Um, who else? Other billionaires. Bitch, I, it's a lot of shit on here that I have watched educational-wise. You know, and some of it was a long time ago. But um, you're not that, you're not that intellectual as you pretend that you are. Because nothing you said is specific enough or detailed enough and financially to get ahead and if he wants to be with me he can if he doesn't that's all right too all right okay tony winston you don't know my worth at all <laughs> he said you even, if, $10. even if i was worth ten dollars you can't <laughs> seem to afford it <laughs> my own era the people who are dating right now modern day dating culture people are having a difficult time because of stuff like the internet wait a minute tony says you have to live in a small world to have never seen a good marriage get out the internet and go outside <laughs> uh, <laughs> hold on let me hear this People having access to more people than they used to. It's a number of reasons why people are having problems. A lot of people are having problems with communication. I talk about that. So just because... In any way, again, a good marriage is subjective. So for her to even say she's never seen a good marriage, bitch, who are you to say that? You don't know what goes on in people's homes. Shit. All you need to know is the man... Ask the woman for her hand in marriage with a ring, bitch. 
something you ain't never had. You got a tattoo on your finger because the nigga couldn't, nigga couldn't afford a ring. You spiritually married to your baby daddy priest. So what the fuck? You just coming out with random shit out the air. You how you 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 gonna marry Lloyd and he can't fucking afford a ring? The fuck? I mean, and not that that would even be a a problem, you know, if y'all young, you know, and in love or whatever. But then the man came out and said that it wasn't true. <laughs> she can't get nobody to claim her ass. Don't fall for it. She can't get nobody to claim her ass. Um. Shit. A good marriage. You know, if a man proposed to you, shit, and actually walked down the aisle with you, shit, bitch, that's a good marriage. The fuck? You don't know what's going on in people's homes. Shit. And if it ain't a good marriage, it ain't your damn business. I am in a position to be able to discuss both sides of marriage. No, you're not! <laughs> Doesn't mean that that's what I need to focus on all of the time. I focus on the bad part so they can be fixed. Oh, God. She gonna fix y'all. <laughs> I talk about how to successfully fix these problems. <laughs> I've spoken about solutions to Yo, these problems. Yo, if I had anybody... <laughs> <laughs> if I shared this with anybody, they would think I have lost my damn mind. <laughs> but you don't hear that. You know why you don't hear that? Because you're too busy trying to pick me off apart as a person. My personal life is what you're trying to focus on that you don't even hear the advice that's being given. Because you're not here to hear the advice. You're here to try to judge not the right. Okay, let's name one thing. That you told somebody that actually had a real outcome, Sansa Ray. See, we deal with outcomes and um and statistics and data, bitch. So let's hear it. Not to hear the advice. People who come here to hear the advice, they hear the advice and they keep it moving. Chelsea, everyone who disagrees with you is a troll. No, everyone who's a troll is a troll. Everyone who comes in with a fake account. Everyone who comes in who tries to post something to provoke some type of emotion out of me. Everyone who comes in. That's what I mean is you easily provoke, bitch. Who provoking you? Because you ain't about to give me. I'm only worked. I am worked up because I can't stand your ass. But I can't see myself getting worked up over no YouTube um, bullshit. What is, as if what they're saying is accurate and true when it isn't. Especially when they're talking about me and my personal life. People who come in and make assumptions about what kind of person I am. Or they try to say I'm a specific type of person when I'm not. Did you not do that to that man? You raggedy, thinking bitch. Don't don't forget, number one OnlyFans. Oh yeah, and y'all cash at me. Dollar sign C-A-N-D-Y-L-A-N-D-5809. Cause you know, Sansa Ray be bringing the, bringing the noise. She bring the change, honey. She bring the money. People that come Fuck. in with lies and drama and issues and bullshit instead of wanting to come in and have an intellectual conversation. Intellectual. Now, I don't know if you yet because this is my first time seeing you. But I do know that usually when people come into my comment section and they aren't real people, they're just trolls hiding behind fake accounts, fake pictures. Oh, I'm on here. <laughs> I said, control your emotions. And see, I just said that. <laughs> they got fake names. Usually they come in to start trouble. As usual. Let's get it Tony started. Uh, I know plenty about wealth. Shit. The stuff that I know about wealth is on my community tab. I put it up there. It's all over my... You know generic bullshit that you get on fucking Google, bitch, that anybody can get off. Instagram. I put it up there. And you repeat the same shit about stocks that everybody else knows shit, bitch. My daughter got stocks and um fucking uh Bitcoin and all that shit. That's on Cash App now. And the Robin Hoods and the this and the that. Everything that I Teach a class on it, bitch. Teach a class. 
and learn about finances and wealth, it's all over my social media. I post it there on purpose. So people can also go out there and get financial help. Now, I'm sorry, you haven't seen it. I also have a money-making playlist that you can go check out, and I've given advice about wealth on there. But if you haven't seen that, if you're not looking for that, then you wouldn't know that it's there. Let's see her playlist. Chelsea, if you're having a difficult time seeing the, the difference between people disrespecting me versus people... You know, just just consciously coming into my comment section to come in and have a conversation. I'm sorry, I can't I can't help you with that. Like if you can't blatantly see that, then I don't know. So many trolls. All right, so many trolls. I'm not judging you. That's what I'm saying, Tony Winton. You're saying I'm not judging you. You're unqualified to give advice. I just told you I'm a certified life coach. Meaning, I did what I needed to do in order to be certified. You are in no position to tell me what I can and cannot qualify for. Okay, so let's look at her money playlist. Why you'll regret moving to Atlanta. Um, I think I did listen to some of that a long time ago. Um, but she doesn't look like money. People that have money, they look like they got a little something. Girl, cause just because you throw a wig on and a necklace and you did your makeup, that's not saying nothing to me. How money is made in the swinger sex group lifestyle. Okay. 12 side hustles that pay really well that um about 10,000 people have the same video. Seven things broke people do with their money. Another video that you can find by the dozen, how I became a millionaire, how I lost it all, well, we know how you lost it, throwing bottles of champagne and living in the VIP section when you should have took Dimo to Disney World, bitch, five ways you get women to not use you for money, mm, how I make three, three to five K monthly on OnlyFans, girl, you wish, how to get your first 10 K online, Black Wealth Building, How to Stop Living Paycheck to Paycheck, that's another one you can find about a dozen, How to Make Six Figures, oh, she, I forgot she said that's so easy to do, Ways You Waste Money Unknowingly, and so on, and so on, let's see, You Live in Poverty If You Make Less Than $10,000 a Month, well, she should know what you need to know before riding and driving Uber. The Uber Queen. Child, I cannot. What do you do for a living? What do I look like saying to you if you're a plumber? You're not qualified to be a plumber when I've never asked you to come do the plumbing at my house. So, qualifications. To be, um, because she mostly give relationship advice. So, I don't know where the life coaching came in at. Because she stayed trying to give relationship advice. But she's a life coach. Instead of going into relationship coaching. Because why? I don't know. Let's see. How much does it. How to become a relationship coach. What do you need to become a relationship coach? That's another certificate. Six weeks. So she might as well say she was going to be a relationship coach. She didn't even bother to probably look this up because you could be a relationship coach just as easily as you could be a, a life coach. Dumbass. Anyway, um, what I was going to say was, uh, hold on, what did he say? What do I look like telling you what you can and can't do? Oh, he said you unqualified to give advice. So, she decides to become a life coach, quote unquote. Now, I'm just going to go with the relationship coach because, girl. So, let's see. 
Would I rather go to somebody who's been in an actual relationship long term, even if it has broken up or dissolved? Or would I rather go to somebody who has not had one sexual one successful relationship and eight engagements? Who am I gonna go to? And what else makes you qualified is actually, um, I would hope, having some type of office or um, some type of references that people or people vouching for your work. Um, girl. Oh shit. Hold on, y'all. I'm watching America Says. That used to be my favorite show. But now it's just on the TV because I'm doing the. Don't know you. No one cares whether you feel like I'm qualified or unqualified. You're the same beta that'll probably go on to a nigga's channel like Kevin Samuels or one of these other uh -oh. beta male dusties on YouTube and swear to God that they're so qualified to do what they do when they haven't take, taken one psychology class. How does she... <laughs> How the hell does she know what people have? What qualifications people have and what they gone to school for? Have done nothing to get a certification. Haven't even seen the type of education. Don't have no experience dealing with people whatsoever that you will classify their ass as qualified. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, man. Get that shit out of here. Why do you talk about a marriage at all? Because it's the conversation that some people have. Asking you about relationships is like asking a goldfish how to breathe online. You have no clue. If I had no clue, the relationship advice that I give people, they wouldn't be taking. They yeah. wouldn't be taking it. This would Thank be you on April Fool's Day. Thank you. I post advice in my community tab all day. You go there, you read it, it works for you. If you apply it, do it. You know what I mean? I always tell people, when you're out here looking for advice from people, always trust the person that if you listen to their advice, if they give you 20 advice tips and you apply 15 of those, all 20 of those um, advice tips and 15 of them bitches work, listen to them, regardless to whether or not. First of all, <clears throat> I'm going to need Sansa Ray to um, maybe take some <clears throat> diction classes. And learn how to enunciate and pronounce words and um i mean this just don't make no sense i you know i know that it's all in her head but let me read this real quick Sansa, this is her bio Sansa Ray gives relationship and marriage guidance to both women and men to help with self-improve self-improvement Never been married. <clears throat> Eight engagement. No successful relationship long term. Um, if she can name anybody that she's been with for more than two years, I'll give her a donut. Humorously encourage them, encouraging them to improve in other areas of life, including finances, spiritual, mental, and physical health. Girl! Physical health? How? Porky the pig? Girl, go eat another cake anime. Parenting. She don't even do her parenting channel. We still don't know if Jesse can talk. Professional relationships. Professional relationships with who? And social media etiquette. Girl... Why you sitting on here worried about trolls? Okay. That's real etiquette like. While enjoying her deserved luxury lifestyle filled with traveling. <laughs> Sansa Ray 
Have you been to the Bahamas? Have you been to the Dominican Republic? Have you been to Turks and Caicos? Have you been to Philly, Cincinnati, Las Vegas? I know you have. Michigan, you was born in Michigan, but I'm talking about for vacation. Vacation, bitch. Canada. Oh, that's the third out of country I've been to. Three countries I've been to, bitch. Oh, wait, I don't know. It's Bahamas country. <laughs> um, two cruises. Florida. Been all over Florida. Been to Disney World. Sea World. Went wild. Bush Gardens in Tampa. Sansa Ray, where have you been? I need to know. Massive wealth, massive wealth, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Investing success gives listeners life coaching style tips. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. Just because you be in, on there painting your face like a damn corpse. Using an unorthodox approach to Sansaray. Her honesty and personal stories are positive and thought-provoking. Girl, ain't nobody provoking no thought about your bullshit. Using her journey as a cautionary tale and controversial topics as a blueprint, she assists in the improvement in the lives of others. Girl. Oh, wait, I wanted to read. Oh, so she gives, um, I already said that, though. Copyright owned 2021 by Sansa Ray Smith. Girl, boo. What am I supposed to say at the beginning of that video? I exercised my right to copyright or something? I forgot how you say it. What is it? Um, I heard a rumor about them or people trolling their comment section or some shit like that. You know? Thanks, Britt. I wanted to take the next next step. It was important um, because I just felt like a lot of people give advice all of the time. They give people advice all of the time. And in order for people to feel more comfortable with taking advice from me, I was like, maybe I should go out here and get my license or get my certification. So I'm going to go and get my license to try to, you know, give better advice. I thought it was a certification. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, which direction I want to go. So I was like, let me just take the first step. So you 40 and don't know which direction? certification first. And then... And something I, you've been doing for 800 years? I've been taking this more serious and not just giving relationship advice on YouTube and on Girl, is doing sure. wrong. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> Cheated on my girl, do therapist, therapist. That's fucking hilarious. Classic, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. This part I've just realized what they said. He said, I cheated on my girl, then sent her to therapy so she could see what she was doing wrong. <laughs> do the right thing. <laughs> if funny. you cheated on your girlfriend, <laughs> and I know this is a joke y'all as much as I can about what I know but the, the depth of everything that I do and everything that I teach I either keep to myself or I the depth of everything she knows she keeps to herself in a one on one conversation thank god <laughs> I was drunk and slept with my dad instead of my step step sister what so <laughs> um yeah so I thought that it it being another source of income would be a good idea. Okay. <laughs> another source of income. Another source of income. Say it three times, bitch. Say it three times. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that is the conclusion of... I don't know what I'm going to title it, y'all, but... <laughs> but get ready, because I'm letting them go. <laughs> like diarrhea. Here they come. <laughs>